Next, a fascinating story, this one today. Technology used for astronauts is being used to save more ambulance patients' lives in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. Until recently, paramedics had to use radios to provide doctors with details of patients' conditions and what might be needed to help them. In this test scheme on board the uh, helicopter, patients are hooked up to a monitoring device which continuously beams data, such as your heart rate, back to medics in the hospital so they can better prepare. Let's get more on this now. Uh, joining me, Professor Richard Lyon, Assistant Medical Director for the Air Ambulance Service in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. Good afternoon. This is exciting stuff. Well, it's indeed really exciting stuff. Um, we are delighted to be the world's first uh, service to trial this novel technology. And so far, it's, um, it's going very well. We are very impressed with um, how robust the technology is. So even when we're flying around Kent, Surrey and Sussex at you know, about 1,000 feet in the air, uh, we're still managing to beam the data, which is great. And actually, we've had some directly positive patient results. So a few cases have, have directly benefited already from the technology. So it's, it's going very well. I wanted to ask you about that. Do you have any examples you could tell us about? Yeah, so the main two reasons we're using this technology um, is to beam patient data, so their heart rate, their blood pressure, oxygen levels, to two places. So when our air ambulance team are out on the ground uh, helping people, saving lives, we always have a consultant in the background um, remotely who's able to offer support to that team. And that consultant, instead of now relying on a sort of snapshot, what the crew tell them you know, over the phone, can actually see what's happening to that patient in real time remotely and we've had a, two, a few cases where they've seen changes in physiology for example so a quick drop in the oxygen level and they've been able to advise the team to perform another intervention or alter the drugs they were using in an anesthetic for example to the benefit of patient care. The se second place we're beaming the data is, of course, to the hospitals. Um, most of our patients that are critically injured are transferred to major trauma centres, either in London, Brighton or Southampton. And in some of these cases, what we're, we're trialling on a pilot basis is actually sending this data ahead of the patient. So whilst we're flying through the air to the hospital, the receiving team can already start getting an understanding of, of what to state the patients in and it's allowing them to prepare much better. Is it expensive, this technology? So the technology itself is just is a, is a software upgrade. Um, so from that point of view, it's, um, you know, it, it's it's very cheap. The monitors themselves that we use are the same monitors that the British military use. They're incredibly robust, the Tempest monitors. And of course, Air Ambulance Cancer in Sussex is is a charity. You know, we are entirely dependent on the the generosity of the the population of Cancer in Sussex to to do our life saving work. So you know, it's 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 really important that when we do buy this uh, technology and buy new monitors, we need to know it's the best, we need to know it's working, and, that, and that's why we're doing the pilot phase at the moment. I think the potential for the wider ambulance service is, is really big, so we're just sort of in the very early stages of the pilot study at the moment, but if you can imagine if every ambulance in a region, for example, had it, you need to be able to look at all of those patients, you know, at a single point and see who was the sickest and who was the wellest, and it would allow you to sort of triage patients perhaps more effectively as they were arriving into the hospitals those hospitals could prepare better and as a medical supervisor for example in the control room it would allow you to give much more accurate advice if you actually knew exactly the condition and the physiology of the patients you were advising on so I think I think the potential is really big. Thank you for your time Professor Richard Lyon Assistant Medical Director for the Air Ambulance Service in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. On the way we'll have